Someone asked for an update on the video game I've been making. Uh, I've been making lots of progress on it. I made a new joystick thing. Eh? Um, I also have a program that makes it so you can map joystick buttons to be keyboard buttons. So I didn't have to do a whole bunch of programming to make the joystick work with my game. Okay, I'll, I'll show you that program real quick before I show you some games. That's uh, my game. Let's see. All right, I got this program called Anti Micro, and I got version 2.21, I think. Yes, 2.21, and it's free and open source, which is why I'm happy to share this information. Um, and it makes it so you can map joystick buttons to be keyboard buttons. So now this is the A, this is the S, Q, W. So yeah, it works. Now I don't want to show some of the video game stuff I've been working on because it'll, you know, it's spoilers. It'll wreck some of the story um, but I can show you some of the game mechanics I just updated in the tester zone activating ghetto screen capture uh, tester zone this just has like everything it's where I test it so you have lots of different robots you can build you can build this one hey, stop back a you know, this one, there's a black one over here, there's some purple ones and some blue ones. And the original way I made it so they got damaged was like, if you're in this robot driving it around, let me get in there. Oops. You're driving it around, if you get damaged till it's broken, you just get like a broken robot. And then you have to like get out and uh, repair it and stuff. But I decided that since changing this robot to upgrade to this robot, you just hammer on a bunch of this fancy armor to make the next robot, and that's that's how you upgrade your robot, is you just like hammer on new parts. Well, I was thinking I should make it so that when this robot gets damaged, all that type of armor falls off it, and then you get the next robot down. So, I just programmed that, and I'm gonna check if it works. Let's see, I wanna use this one. So this is the toughest robot in existence right now. Oh, it's fancy tough guys. All right, don't blow him up. Now, hopefully, when he gets damaged all the way, a bunch of blue armor will fall off, and I'll get a purple robot. If I did it right. Ah, oh, cool. Now, when this gets blown up, oh yeah, and it changes the screen size too, because the the blue one can see farther. Oh. I didn't even have to program that. I must have done a good job before. Oh. And I'm down to the yellow robot. And when this guy gets hit, it should get it should lose his yellow armor. Yep. All right, I'm gonna take these guys out. I still have the strongest blaster on the robot because I didn't make it so your cockpit gets shot. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Okay, now I should be able to just put these pieces back on. I'm still getting a little bit used to the joystick. Man, it makes it so much more fun when I'm used to the keyboard. Alright, got all those on there. I hammer them on. Yeah. Alright, here's my next armor. So I, I like doing it this way a lot more because then you don't have stoppage of play if your robot gets damaged. You can just keep keep blasting, and once you destroy all the enemies and you're clear, then you can, uh, you know, do all your repairs and stuff. Oh, this is 50 million strength metal. My uh, daughter Bellatrix named it. And there's a special reason that this robot has feet, but I don't want to say what it is, because it's part of the story of the game. Excellent! That totally worked!
Anyway, I'm getting really close to being finished with the, uh, the story part of the game. I mean, the ending's gonna be, it's gonna take a little while, because it's gotta be, you know, a big finale, a big exciting part. Alright, so that's, that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I don't want to say anything else, because I don't want to wreck the story for anyone. Uh, okay, over and out. Oh, and if you're wondering when I find time to work on things like this, it's whenever the sun is down. Like, after dinner. Well, after my kids go to sleep. Then I work on stuff like this. Oh, and I haven't been uploading, you know, updates of the game. Because anytime I upload a new version, I have to play the game from beginning to up to where I am to uh, check for bugs. Because often, I'll, you know, if I'm working on something later, it might affect something earlier, and then I have to go back and do little adjustments to fix it. Uh, the game's getting kind of long now, so it takes a while to do that. So I'm just working on it instead of, uh, you know, checking that it's all stable and uploading it.